Hello, everyone. It's John Turner McClellan with Cooper Mac Realty Group, powered by Worth Clark Realty, here today with Robin Thompson of Fly Hippie Photography. How are you doing, Robin? I'm great. How about you? Good. So I wanted to get you on today to talk about a little bit about yourself and your photography business in Plano. Um, you're in a new space. You can talk about that, too. <laughs> It's not a virtual background. <laughs> it's not a virtual background. It is in the middle of renovating. It absolutely is. And I just kind of show it because people are kind of intrigued by the process. <laughs> so <it's> like, eh. <laughs> right. We're saying it's, it's a workspace, so it's work in progress. Yes. So yeah. tell us a little bit why you started your own photography studio. And, oh, you know. I started, I've owned a studio for like a decade. This is actually the third space. I had a space in Gunner and then moved to Plano and then moved to this one. And I love, I love this place. It's really, really fun, creative space. And I love Plano because a lot of my, my business comes kind of Plano and then South. And I like studio work because then I'm not affected by weather. I can do whatever I want. I'm in control of my lights. I'm in control of set. I, I, I love studio work. And I like darkroom work. I teach workshops and I need a dark room. I need workshops and I like my creative space. So that's why, that's why I did it. I love it. Well, cool. and I saw that you are a certified professional photographer. I am a certified professional photographer. Um, PPA, which is professional photographers of America actually has four big achievement. There are more, but four kind of degrees, if you will, you can be a certified professional photographer. Um, which is a technical certification that you really understand the technical aspects of photography. Um, there's a photographic craftsman, which I also am, and that is for so many hours spent teaching other professional photographers working on their craft. Um, there is a master photographer, which I'm working on, and a master artist, and those incorporate print competition through international print competition. So those are the things that I'm, I'm, I'm halfway to them. <laughs> So have you won a lot of competitions? No, no, um, <laughs> no. Um, I entered last year for the first time and you enter four in photographic. I didn't do artist yet, but four that you enter every year in photographic. And I got one merit out of four. So it's not bad. No, it's and it was, it was of my foster son. So it was kind of meaningful that his print was my first merit. So I'm happy about that. That's good. So you're, you mentioned to me earlier off camera, you live in Salina, I do studios live in Plano. Plano. Studio Are you originally from the area? I am originally from Lubbock. Lubbock. I moved to Plano on my 16th birthday. So I did graduate from Plano Senior High um, before there was a West. And um, so Plano is home-ish. So it's kind of nice to be back here. A lot of my friends from high school are like, oh, I know exactly where your studio is. And they'll text me when they pass it or come look through the windows to see what I've renovated. <laughs> So it's right. fun. It's nice to be kind of back home. Where's the new studio located? I am on 15th and Independence. So um, across Independence from the big Christmas store, people seem to know that. Um, the fun thing is I actually face backwards. So if you come to the Strip Shopping Center and come to the inside of the L part, you don't see me. You have to go around to the back, which totally fits my personality. So really? I like that. What other business are you facing? Do you know? I am facing an El Weatherford Elementary School. I don't face anything. A park. We go across. I've shot in the park. Um, okay. Yeah, there's an elementary school across the street. Yeah, I'm just literally backwards. To my left are dumpsters when you look out yeah. the side. It's actually really cool. Like when people get here, they're like, okay, this is, I didn't even know you could be backwards. <laughs> is that the... I'm thinking because I've done interviews over there. Is that where the CVS corner? It is the CVS corner. Okay. Yes. So yes. I just recently did interviews with Kratos Fitness and um, yes. Martial Arts, which are yes. in that mall. So the Martial Arts guy, I am exactly our the back of his place and the back of mine touch because he's okay. So you're behind. Her. But Got that's it. right. <laughs> um, he's right behind that wall. <laughs> okay. I didn't know there were anything on the back side, so. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. People <laughs> now I got it. I'm like, elementary school. I'm like, okay. Now I understand. <laughs> Bill, if they park in the back parking lot to go to either the ballet place or altruistic, um, because I'm, I'm right with that breezeway. So they will kind of pass by like, yeah, yeah. oh, it's a place. Yeah. I remember one now. There's one there in the, the L, the 
corner thing? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and I'm like right at the corner. Cool. That wall is the breezeway. That wall is the um, karate place or martial arts. Taekwondo? It's, mo most, it's mostly, well, she's saying Taekwondo and karate. Taekwondo. Yes, I was like, oh no, I messed it up. <laughs> Vision Martial Arts Center of Plano. For anyone else watching this, there is an interview with them. And, and I can hear their good camps and they sound fun. <laughs> you go say hi. She's probably, probably there every day. Oh, I bet. Yeah, totally. Um, but back to you, Fly Hippie. Why the name Fly Hippie? <laughs> oh, I get asked that a lot. A and unique name. <laughs> it is a unique name and it actually fortunately has a cool story. Um, I was a homeschool mom. I homeschooled my kids and driving from a homeschool class one time, my son, who was about six at the time, maybe um, seven, was like, you know, mom, people act really different around different people. And I was like, yeah, that can happen. And he goes, you do that. And I was like, what? He goes, yeah, sometimes you're really fly and usually you're just a hippie. And I just laughed and I was like, you just named my next business. And he's 23 now. And so he's <laughs> like, I never said you were fly. I don't even use that word. And I was like, no, you don't use that word. But you did once and it was all that mattered. Yeah. 16-ish years ago. Yeah, we probably yeah, still use that word. He so. made one <laughs> comment that stuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's usually what moms do. You remember that one time you said this and you're like, no. Like, no, I don't remember that. That is, that is him. Yeah, he's like, no, I didn't do that. No. And he's like, I would have said you were cool or something. I'm like, yeah, but cool hippie sounds weird. Like the other one makes, I'm glad you messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> this is better than my mom. You know, I used to be more of a picky eater. And I'll say something that I ate recently. It's like, thought you didn't like that i'm like 20 years ago when i my taste changed <laughs> right you I'm know like, what i did that to my kids too you don't like that and they're like mom i was five yeah <laughs> you don't like it <laughs> i know it was more of like i was still like that yeah um, well until like 18 20 years old and yes it's a total mom thing yeah yeah i added a lot of things that i did not ever touch as a child <laughs> just for sure. Yeah. Taste change, especially yes. when you get older. Yes, me too. And then you realize things aren't quite as gross as they seemed when you were a kid. Yeah. Or they are gross and <laughs> stop eating. Yeah. Them. Oh, I have a lot of those too, where it was like, mom, why did you feed us that? Like, what were you thinking with a spam sandwich? No. <laughs> I will not eat that still. No, no, no. never. No I don't spam. know what she does now. Yeah. No, <laughs> no better do better. <laughs> right. Um, I was going to ask you, so if someone wants to get photography done with you, how do they get a hold of you to do that? And what's the process? Oh, the process is, I mean, obviously they find me either like through my website, which is flyhippiephotography.com. Give me a call, text, whatever. I need to talk to you. I need to know what it is you want. Because just getting a photograph done can range from, I need hair and makeup and a whole thing to... I just need a headshot. I don't want to do it. My boss is making me do it to any personal brand. I mean, there's, there's such a huge gamut. I really need to know what's going on. If it's, you know, if it's headshots, that's a little bit easier. If it is a, a portrait session where we're doing family photography or your children or a senior or something, we need to know what we're shooting for. Are we shooting to put this on the wall of your home? Are we shooting to get a folio box full of images? I need to know what we're shooting for because I can do a really, really fun shoot with a red or hot pink background and you're never going to put that on your wall because it's going to look awful. So if that's what we're shooting for, maybe that's not what we want to do or maybe we don't want to do as much. We need it. I need to know where we're going to hang the picture. Like we do a whole thing. I want a picture of your wall. I want to know where you want to hang it. We know exactly what we're shooting for by the time we start that photo shoot and then we do the shoot. We have fun. Um, I know we were talking before, like that's kind of my thing is to make it really, really fun because nobody really loves having a photo shoot done. So I make you love it because we just, it's, it's, it's a fun, goofy time. And then I edit them up and you actually come back to the studio and I have software where if you wanted wall art, we put your wall on the 75 inch TV here in the sales part. And um, 
your wall, the picture of your wall, and then we put what images you like with the frames that you like on that wall and they are to scale. So you can see exactly what you're getting, what the frame's gonna look like, how big you need it to be. Sometimes you think you need a huge thing and you don't need that much, so it saves money. Or sometimes you think an eight by 10 will look great above the couch and you realize it, it needs to be bigger. Like it's a really good, cause it's a very hard to scale a, a photograph or anything above yeah. an, a fireplace or wherever it is that you decide that it's gonna go. So we actually do that. We do all of that. We take care of everything. What do you want? We're gonna make it work and then we're gonna get it on your wall perfectly. So we are very full service. Um, so there is there is a difference if somebody just wants you know a thumb drive of images. I'm not I'm not that person. Um, by the same token, if you want wall art but you also want to share it on Facebook, that's totally fine because I'm going to give you the digital when you buy a print. So I'm definitely a folio box or wall art, which a folio box is kind of like an album, only it's a handmade box that has matted images in it. So you can take them out, you can frame them, you can you know whatever it is you want to do with them, and you're going to get you know, a lot of pictures from your shoot that way. So, you know, everybody has a different reason for getting photographed. So we just need to know what that is. Um, there, but there's always a reason somebody is getting photographed. There's always a reason. So we need to figure out how to celebrate it. Yeah, there is. No one randomly gets photographed. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Unless they're doing a selfie or they are out and popping right. up these around. Yeah. yeah, a selfie and hey, you know what? We're all at the state fair. Of course, you're going to take your own pictures right. and do the whole thing. We all do that. I mean, my phone is full of little memory pictures. Um, but to actually make an appointment and figure out it is either your first birthday or you just got married or you just got divorced or your kid's a senior in high school or it is a newborn or you are pregnant or your boss wants you to get headshots or you want to start a new business and you need branding headshots with a billion different outfits in a billion different places to fill up your website or there's a reason. And I've actually, I've done um, photographs for funerals. Somebody knows that, you know, this is kind of the end and I want to look good before I get sick. I've actually done that. Um, I, there's always a reason and it, and it's not anybody else's reason. So that's why we need to figure out what it is, you know, what, what we're shooting for. Cause, and you know, the other thing is a lot of, a lot of what I do centers around children. And I very much think the moms need to get involved in those shoots. Like, yeah, it's your kid's first birthday. Let's celebrate your kid turning one and we'll smash the cake and, you know, do whatever it is. But mom needs to be there too, because although mom feels like she needs to lose 20 pounds, gain 20 pounds, whatever it is, we all have an excuse when that kid's 40, you're either going to look back going, dude, I lost the 20 pounds. Look at the difference. And you're going to be excited. Or you're going to be like, why did I think I needed to lose 20 pounds? I looked phenomenal. All of those things happen regardless that one-year-old at 20, year old, 20 years old is just happy that they had a picture with you. That yeah. like, that's priceless. Your, your 20 year old doesn't really give a crap about your 20 pounds. So, um, I do like we do we do need to exist in photographs more as parents so we I try for that well yeah that's me and my mother in photos I look back I'm like we really need to get back to that size <laughs> right. <laughs> sometimes we all depends do. on the year you know, right. what, what <laughs> Yeah, but then when you fast forward a long time, you either feel like you did, wow, I did look really great. And I didn't even appreciate my great, I mean, who hasn't done that with a high school picture where you're like, I was so cute and I didn't even know it. <laughs> you know? And I had like a good window of like three to five where I was really cute. <laughs> and like, you know, like before that, cue ball head, after that started becoming the giant that I am giant. Like, I was always the tall kid in elementary school so I'm like oh yeah I've never been the tall kid I'm six foot two so it's all oh, you're funny. tall that's I laugh all the time that I'm not super short like if you see me in person I'm just like normal average but I'm like five foot four so I'm always standing on my posing boxes so like if I'm taking <laughs> your picture I gotta stand on something yeah I'm standing yeah I laugh that my posing stuff is more for me to stand on than anybody else to use <laughs> that's what you gotta do perception 
Yeah. Otherwise you look very powerful, but <laughs> <laughs> the other kind of cool part about the studio that, I mean, we're renovating, so it hasn't begun yet, but I do have a dark room and I teach workshops on alternative processes, which are 19th century printing processes and darkroom techniques because people tend to think film is dead and it's not, um, it's really not. And so that's a super fun thing that, that right now we're shooting and renovating at the same time since it's a big studio, but the dark room, it needs to be a dark room before we use it. So that's the only thing that I'm kind of waiting on, but it makes it really fun. So if you're in the area, stop by because we have some really fun stuff The shooting space is a camera obscura right now if you don't know what that is you really should stop by but we do have really fun stuff in this space even outside of just portraits we we do some art stuff cool well i hope everyone takes advantage of it and contacts you to do art stuff or photo stuff um and i appreciate you talking to me today talking to everyone on here hi guys thank you for listening <laughs> Hopefully it's been fun for everyone to watch. Again, this is John Turner McClelland, Cooper Mac Realty Group. And thanks for watching. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>